We have been following breaking news for you all morning long. A brazen break in at a Pittsburgh jewelry store. We're talking about the Henny Jeweler. This happened in Shady Side around 3 o'clock this morning. And our Amy Wallace is live at the scene. She's been there all morning. Amy, give us an update. Well, you know what? This is uh, Henny Jewelers on Walnut Street in Shady Side, and uh, employees have been inside cleaning up all morning long. There's shattered glass all over the floor after that burglar uh, broke into the front door, that right door where you see boarded up uh, early this morning, just around three o'clock. Now, the owner of the business let us inside and showed us some surveillance video uh, that captured that burglar. Uh, early this morning, you can see the suspect smashing the glass to the front right door with a crowbar, looks around the store with a du duffel bag, realizes he can't get anything because there's no jewelry out, kind of shakes his head, then leaves. The owner says the burglar was in the business for about 20 seconds, then it took off. About 10 years ago where someone drove a car through the front door, to try and get some jewelry that was on the far side of the store. Since then, we don't leave anything whatsoever, not even a sterling silver necklace anywhere in the store. Now, because of that incident that happened 10 years ago, the owner put up a sign on the front of the business that says the alarm is activated and 100% of all the merchandise is secured in a vault after hours. Obviously, that burglar uh, ignored that sign or just didn't see the sign when he attempted to uh, go in there and steal some jewelry, then realized the jewelry was not sitting out in the cases. Now, the owner told us the store will be opening up to the public later this morning, despite this attempted burglary. As for that suspect, police don't know where he is at this time. If you have any information, you're being asked to call Pittsburgh police. We are live in Shadyside. Amy Wattis, KDKA Morning News.